So the Arkansas Razorbacks, I believe, will be kind of one of the more dangerous teams in the SEC. Definitely one of the more underrated teams I think a lot of people are definitely overlooking. Um, I can definitely throw them in the same realm as an Ole Miss, as a Missouri. Just teams that we all know can compete or have the potential to compete. M might not have the same talent level as an Alabama, LSU, or a Georgia. Or even throw Florida in that case. But Arkansas, for what we saw from last year, but, you know, with Sam Pittman and the coaching staff there, uh, this was an Arkansas team that was extremely scrappy. Um, they really, I mean, if you look at the games that they had, they really only had like three blowouts throughout that schedule. Um, and that was Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Besides that, every game, every game that they were in were extremely competitive. Even the Georgia game in the first half, extremely competitive. That Florida game was competitive until kind of Florida broke away with it. Um, but Arkansas was extremely competitive. They never lost any faith. They didn't lose any momentum. And you just didn't feel that even throughout that entire season that this team was going to break, right? When you look at teams like, let's say, Tennessee, for example, it's it's a lot of ups and downs, but you never really have any high expectations for their future. If Sam Pittman can continue to get this team to, you know, to buy into their culture, uh, I do believe that this is a team that eventually, I'm not going to say it's going to be Alabama level, but I do believe that this could be a team that can be competitive in the SCs. And surely this year is a great opportunity, um, even though, again, it's another difficult schedule for the Arkansas Razorbucks. At the same time, they're competing in the division where Florida might not be as good as they, as good as they were last year. And if you look at that entire SCs, maybe besides maybe Missouri as a team that can climb up, I look at a team like Arkansas and I think that this is a, a big opportunity for them to compete. Uh, for the SEC East crown, even though I again I don't believe that they're going to win it. Uh, but looking at some, looking at the Arkansas Razorbacks again, you, you look at the job that Sam Pittman, uh, Art Bryles, and coming in there. Uh, they also got guys like Barry Odom, a uh, former coach uh, for the Missouri Tigers on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, again, the coaching staff for the most part, I believe, is intact. Uh, you look at the players, the returning production that that is coming back to their side. Um, you know, you do lose some key contributors. I, Mike Woods definitely is a big contributor. You're talking about their second leading receiver right next to Traylon Burks. That was one of kind of one of the better you know receiving duos in the, in the country. And now you have a guy like Mike Woods transferring over to uh, Oklahoma. Now you also bring in another transfer. I can't really, I think his name was like Jatavian something, but um, maybe Jatavian Williams. I, I, I got that confused. Um, but you are bringing a receiver from Oklahoma that is talented, um, that is known as a speedster, a vertical presence, and maybe, you know, can definitely replicate the production that Mike Woods had at the University of Arkansas. You look at the offensive line, and I always talk about the trenches. Arkansas has all five starters from their offensive line. Now, again, Arkansas did not have the greatest offensive line last year but you look at you know but you look at Felipe Franks and the amount of production he had at Arkansas probably the best that he's ever had in his entire career maybe in his entire career a big reason for that was because of the offensive line um, Sam Pittman is an offensive line guru you know if, if he was an offensive line coach anywhere else in the country he is known for being not only the one of the you know one of the better recruiters when it comes to you know when it comes to uh, getting offensive linemen but he's known for being one of the the one of the best, if not the best, offensive line coach in all of college football. So I definitely believe that this Arkansas offensive line will take a step forward. And uh, I do believe that they have a guy that's projected as a, they have a guard that's projected right now as a top 50 pick for next year's NFL draft. So that is definitely one of the positives going into your year is that, again, getting all five starters, getting all that experience, all that continuity. Uh, I, I definitely, I definitely believe that it will, that, it probably will pay off for, again, another difficult kind of year as far as their schedule. So very, very important there. Uh, also getting guys like like Smith back as your running back, a guy that averaged over five yards per carry, had over 790 yards, especially in a shortened season that the Arkansas Razorbacks had for 10 games. 790 yards was great because, again, you add in a couple games, he's probably going over 1,000 yards. So, again, a huge reason why, a, a huge reason for his success is because of the offensive line. But when you have, again, the continuity, the chemistry between the offensive line, the running game is definitely going to be there for Arkansas and is going to be a key strength. Uh, K.J. Jefferson is a unknown. Again, Felipe Franks was the guy. I don't you know. K.J. Jefferson is talented, 6'3", 240-pound quarterback. So he has the size. He has the arm strength. But I don't know too much about K.J. Jefferson. Again, I'm going to have to go back to the spring game. Um, you know, we need to see more game film on him against actual opponents. 
Uh, again, you know, if he can fit this Art Briles system, if he's a guy that can that that can that can take charge, take command of the offense, and especially when you have a guy, a weapon like Traylon Burks, and you have some other weapons coming in, especially at the tight end position with Hudson Henry, expected to take on a huge role uh, at the tight end position. You know, we could see, you know, I'm not saying he's going to be one of the top five quarterbacks in the SEC, but could he be another kind of Felipe Franks type of guy um, that could help out this offense? Absolutely. Again, he has the arm strength. He has the talent to do it. We just have to see as a first year starter what type of presence, what type of role he's going to have with Art, with this Art Bryle system. Um, I look at the defensive side of the ball, and even though defensively they they improved, but it's not to where you want them to be. You have players, right? You, when you have Poole and Morgan, one of the best, if not the best, linebacking duo from a from a production standpoint in all of college football. You also have guys on the defensive line uh, like um, like Greg like Gregory. You have Williams there, uh, Gerald on the defensive line as well. Uh, you do lose uh, one starter, uh, John. I think it was, it was it was Jonathan something. I forgot what his name was. Excuse me for that. But otherwise. This is a pretty experienced Arkansas defense. The secondary, for the most part, is still okay for the most part. They got some impactful players back there as well. Um, I look at this Arkansas defense, and can I see them taking another big step? I, I could. I could see them taking another big step and being one of the better defenses. Uh, again, Barry Odom, um, I definitely believe it has gotten these boys on the right track. Uh, I do believe now we, we just need to see more. Um, I like Barry Odom a lot. We just need to see more from the Arkansas Razorbacks. Um Looking at their schedule, this is where we need, this is where you kind of like, eh, because when you look at that schedule, it's a difficult schedule, uh, right? You look at A&M, uh, very difficult game. You look at their kind of their first biggest test, that's Texas. Uh, I think that Texas game is going to tell you all you need to know what type of team the Arkansas Razorbacks are going to be because Texas, very, very talented, but you know, you're, you're, you're talking about a team that, again, has a they have a new coaching regime with Steve Sarkeesian. And again, Steve Sarkeesian brought in almost entirely a brand new staff there. So two teams that, for the most part, are, are trending in the right direction. Arkansas actually had that one year and a positive year under Sam Pittman. Very, very important game, I believe, for both squads. But I feel like that game is going to tell you all you need to know about that. You look at the A&M game. That's, always a, that's a rivalry game. That's always a big game right there. Uh, the Alabama game, the Georgia, uh, the Alabama game, the Georgia game, uh, uh, for the most part. And, uh, you look at the Florida game. I mean, it, it's a difficult schedule. Uh, now they do have some winnable games. I do, I do see three or four games that I absolutely like the Arkansas Razorbacks to win and, and win big in, you know, for the most part, we just need to see some improvement, um, for them, right? Number one, can they improve their record? And number two, can they be competitive in the SEC? For the most part, Arkansas for years has kind of been the redheaded stepchild um, when, it, when it comes to the SEC. We need to see some improvement. Again, can they improve their record and can they be competitive? Last year, the record was not great. The record was bad, but they were extremely competitive in a majority of their games, maybe besides two, that they weren't really competitive. Really one, and that will say the Alabama game for all straight four quarters. We need to see them take that next step. And if Sam Pittman and this crew can continue to, you know, to set the trend, if the trend can continue to go upward, I do believe that Sam Pittman and this Arkansas team eventually can be very, very competitive for years to come. And again, you know, I don't, I don't see him being as a, I don't see Arkansas being a juggernaut. However, can I see this team being a Mississippi State with Dan Mullen, or can I see this team being a, even a Kentucky? Um, I could see it happen. I could definitely see it happen there. So. Um, I'm excited to watch the Arkansas Razorbacks. They have a promising future. We'll just have to see if Arkansas can live up to those ex or even exceed those expectations going into 2021.